As he works, paleontologist Xu Qing is watched closely by local media. Their interest is heightened by the possibility he's about to discover a new dinosaur. But this particular fossil probably is a small uh, meat-eating dinosaur. So we are going to excavate uh, this leg and then bring back to the lab and prepare a fossil and see whether it is new species or, or something. Given the location of this dig, there is every chance of success. This excavated site at Juqing in eastern China is unique, given its extensive concentration of dinosaur fossils. Created through a process of bones being gradually covered by sediment millions of years ago, this effectively has become a mass dinosaur tomb. The fossils have always been here, but it's only relatively recently that China has had the resources and the infrastructure to excavate them properly. What the fossil hunters are finding is a rich variety that doesn't exist anywhere else. It's led to a fossil equivalent of a gold rush. At sites around northeast China and in more remote locations in the Gobi Desert, a surging interest in China's prehistoric past is helping drive fossil hunting. It's led to the discovery of feathered species, yielding evidence on the links between dinosaurs and birds. The museum at Juqing chronicles these and other discoveries, like Sinoceratops, excavated by the curator Wang Kerbai, and proving for the first time the existence of the Triceratops family of dinosaurs outside the United States. When we began, we didn't know what to expect. It was only when we finished we realized it was so big and important. For Xu Qing, there can be few places better to work as a paleontologist right now. We know I have been so lucky. In Jutin here, you see the thousands of bones. You provide you a rare opportunity to understand these extinct animals are crazy. Sealed for all time, a fossilized snapshot of a prehistoric age waiting to yield more of its secrets from a time when dinosaurs roamed this land. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Juqing, Eastern China.